Hello everybody! Today I am talking about comprehension with the upper levels because even though sometimes they read really well, their comprehension can be lacking. And so these are a few skills that I have done with some of my students. First up, I want to discuss some of the strategies that are normally used with upper level students. So first is um, if the student is reading too quickly, make sure to ask them to slow down because sometimes just doing that helps them to understand the story better. Next, if you can have them reread, because sometimes I can say, mm, you read that really fast. Do you remember what you read? And sometimes they're like, no. And so you can have them reread. And sometimes you don't have the time for that. But rereading is a great skill for having them go back and uh, work on comprehension. Next. Um, you can ask questions throughout and you'll notice often at the bottom in level five, level six, they do have questions after each passage because some of the comprehension passages are so long. But make up your own, especially if you notice that your student struggles. So add in a few other questions that really get them thinking about what they are reading. And then, um, of course, they usually have this at the end, but doing a retell. Retells check their comprehension and see that they're understanding the story. And that can really be a good indicator on how well their comprehension is. Now, um, I'm going to be showing a clip of one of my students who he's an amazing reader and he will read it really quickly and then um, he really kind of struggled with some of the questions. So check out this clip from the other day. Those friends are caring and friendly to each other. Very good. What kinds of things do Emma and Stella like to do together? Mm. Do you remember? I forgot. What's the question, teacher? What do Emma and Stella like to do together? They like to have lunch together. Um, yeah, so you could see that he was really struggling. He even said, I don't know, teacher. And he had just read it so well, so fluently. And then I really had to coach him and help him through that. And even when he was reading, I used some of the strategies that I use with lots of my upper level students. I had underlined some of the important information. I had asked questions throughout the story, but still that wasn't enough for him. And so I started thinking, so my new strategy that I have been working, so I've acted out stories before as they've read and that's kind of helped. But what I did with this student is while he told the story, I started drawing the pictures on my whiteboard. And so this story, um, was about um, some friends and there was Lucy and there was Dinah or Dina uh, yeah I think it's Dinah anyway so I put up characters I drew pictures like Lucy you know had curly hair so I did a picture of her with curly hair and Dinah came over to her house and um, and so I just kind of did a few pictures as we did the story and when we got to the retail well you can just check it out so who were her new friends Anna and Tom. But what did they share with her? Apples. Very good. All right, can you retell the story? What happened first? First, Lucy was new and she Ha, hadn't decided who to sit with, and Dinah said, and Dinah, Dinah, Dinah asked Lucy if he can, she can sit next to her, and Lucy uh, said, yeah, like, agree, and uh, the, tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, the next day, Dinah went to Lucy's house and... So, lots of different strategies that um, can work for comprehension. Just as a quick review, ask the student to slow down. Ask them to reread if they don't understand. You can actually ask them if they're understanding what they read. Next, questions throughout. Um, underlining important information that might be in the questions later. Um, 
doing a retail and then of course my new strategy is drawing pictures um, while they read or even acting out the story just to give it another kinesthetic or visual element to it for some of those different um, learning types. Hopefully this helps. If you have any great strategies, please, please share them below. Thank you so much. Bye.